Good morning, guys. So uh, I think I'm going to be doing a switch up uh, between what I actually do from market analysis and start educating you rather on the markets. So I'm going to be showing you a slight tutorial on how I evaluate or how I do my analysis on certain on actually on all how, how I do my technical analysis to find if uh, trade is viable taking. But please remember that technicals come later. Uh, technicals are maybe probably one of the is is actually once you become a better trader once or once you start exploring trading uh, is when you start realizing that uh, uh, technicals uh, play a part but not of a huge part because uh, what moves uh, the markets is one uh, fundamentals then technicals the big thing about technicals is we have a lot of technical traders that's where you you see things like uh, what do you call them uh uh what uh, i'm trying to remember the name uh, if i remember the if i remember the name once we continue it's something uh price action yes price action is the name of the game so that's why you 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 find people uh moving lower to to small 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 charts uh from maybe i i have uh minute charts and hour charts daily and you know monthly so you see a lot of traders trading from 45 from 15 minutes actually to four hours uh looking for price action looking for all that because they're generally technical traders but uh, I, I need you to understand something uh this is uh my routine and how i actually uh, when after I've done all the fundamental analysis, now this is where technical analysis comes in that you can price in your entry position, you can uh, you can price in your risk uh, management, you can use your ratios, three is to one, one is to three, uh, five is to one, whichever ratio you use for your risk management. So I'm going to start off by uh, opening a chart. I've already opened one, the, the, the US dollar versus the Mexican peso. So uh, as you've seen, the first thing that I've done, once you open... Once you open uh, the the desired chart, once you open the desired chart, move out to the monthly or to the largest uh, time frame that you have. Mine is actually monthly. So uh, once you move to the monthly, you should have uh, different uh, ranges, different uh, candlesticks inside there, outside there. Uh, so, but once you have uh, once you have it to the largest time frame, you move towards now looking at the chart itself so uh there is something important you should know about this chart and you have seen uh the dollar uh, has been gaining significantly against the mexican peso until covid hit now we're in the recovery stages mexico mexico exports a lot of soybeans to uh, the western side that's fundamental uh but you will see i have moving averages and exponential moving averages I have a moving average of 72. I'll explain that in a later video and an exponential moving average of 20. Right? So that uh, this will be a story for another day uh, on why we have an exp exponential moving average of 20 and a moving average of 72. Uh, because uh, it gives a clearer picture because of, you know, trading days, blah, blah, blah. The volume, it has a lot to do with the volume and trading days. Uh, so if you look closely, you'll uh, be able to get the numbers. But anyway, away from that. So once you open this, uh, you open this chart, you come here to your tools on this other side and pick the horizontal line and place it on the where the uh, where on the lowest side from the earliest point you can see, and now to the highest. So once you have those two right once you have those two you move on to the next stage and that is the first ever support or resistance that is in that chart that you can clearly see that is not forced right so as you can see around here around this price is where you see uh, the first as you can see i don't know if you can see around this area is where once price got to 11 uh, 11 you see 11.5 around this area is when uh is when you you know you see uh, some support resistance building up and as you can see uh later on you see later on here around this price uh the price went to retest again so it means that this is a very crucial place so 
where do you put your horizontal line there you can see that horizontal line uh, has respected a lot because if you looked if if let's say uh, assume this part of the chart is not there so uh, if you are a trader during those days when the market is new you have already bought the US dollar against the Mexican peso because you know uh, they depend they they in an emerging market so uh, they really require a lot of uh, supply demand all that so but uh, you are a technical trader and you don't know all that so all you have all you know is support and resistance you see uh, uh, a, a trend forming around here so you see when price gets to 11 there is a lot of consolidation at around these prices there is consolidation there and you're like okay so this is a very strong point so uh this is where you expect to break we haven't broken this play, uh, point in in a while you haven't broken so all you have to know is uh there are two things you see around this place you see around where the price opened yes where the price opened and where now uh the 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 testing was it was about to come down right so you see uh why the opening price is always so important because if we, if it were, if we were going for a retest this would have been a very nice uh, place to buy in more if you got into the trade late so up, away from that so once we broke uh this area you can see we went on and got our first breather around this place around this price this price is very important because that is when the market priced and said okay you know what uh the us dollar has been overbought so let's consolidate the market let's you know uh so things happened blah 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 traders so this is uh they cannot sustain uh growth because the market does not go up in straight lines rather the market goes up in patterns forming high highs high lows depending on the side which the market is going so as a smart person all you have to do is just put your support and resistance line there now you can already see we are already starting to form since you have the bigger and the clearer picture you can see you're starting to form ideas you're starting to form a good a uh, uh, good uh, idea on the best prices to take in this uh in this uh trades uh, in this pair rather so but inside here you can see uh we, we continued forming until we got to a uh, reaction a place of discount this right here you, you can see it's why it's relevant from this point it's a very crucial point uh if you broke that maybe uh, they could have sold all the way down but since it was just being tested it continued positive up until we get to another point of you see a point of uh 15 dollars if i may if at this point at this other point of resistance rather once we hit this point okay uh so as you can see i've already placed so you can already see uh the places in between here if you now would like to narrow it down i'm just trying to point out the key and the major points in this chart so that when you go to a lower time frame you do not confuse because you cannot feel because i uh may, maybe some of you who have done some technical can say oh this price is also good around this place no, but i want you to have the bigger picture first so after that uh we broke out continued moving continued moving until uh we got to where price was at an exhaustion if i may say so so where do you put it there uh but in between here now well you can you can see the market was forming high 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 lows continuing with the uptrend until that particular point please note this has not yet happened uh until there right if the chart had already had stopped around this place this is where i would have put it but now the market is coming to uh, a, sad, a sudden downturn right so you can see this price you can see these candlesticks they tell you a lot uh, they tell you there was a lot of consolidation in between here so uh, i like to put triangles inside consolidations like that so that you can know uh, where the price ranges during consolidation uh, this is just false breakouts here and there you can also see false breakouts here and there but because you can see the picture here is we have consolidation inside this place so uh once we break the consolidation if you can find a consolidation but in this case we have consolidation not all charts 
have consolid uh, not all charts you should expect to see consolidation some you just see up down and if, if it's consolidation uh, it will be easily spotted if i may say so so as you can see now we are currently uh here in 2021 but you can see we exploded up to the highest point which i already marked so i marked the lowest and the highest point so you can already see we are safe and now starting from around this area if we can stretch our consolidation uh rectangle uh consolidation rectangle here uh you can see things happening you can see uh, the market is pricing in around this point you know these gaps so you can now from here is when now you can do your analysis now once you are done with that you can already see we have already analyzed that chart technically like uh, all the majors have been ticked from the bigger picture so you move into your daily chart now in your daily chart you can see there are a lot of candlesticks inside here and you can already see the chart is already priced for you because of this as you can see the consolidation was was huge as you can see now when you move into a slightly smaller picture you can see the consolidation was huge and it was playing around this around these uh, parts so that's when you now start analyzing and waiting for maybe price action if you are a price action trader uh, which i sometimes encourage sometimes discourage because sometimes when the market is moving uh, in volume uh, price action might not help you because take an take an instance at this okay i want you to look at this here if you are a price action trader let me move to a monthly monthly chart so that you can uh, this is a weekly chart i hope it displays a better image right if you are a price action trader you will definitely sit here and say okay uh the price uh, is, is is bouncing in between here so it tested once twice the third time did not test but i'm sure uh, traders know uh, if this is tested like three to four times then expect a breakout either to the downside or upside that's where uh, trend lines come in blah 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 and yeah so that is one uh so once you've drawn all this right once you've drawn all this then and only then can you so i'll say i was telling you about price action uh take an instance a look at this you can see here because of covid uh covid didn't respect a lot of technicals if you if you are following closely so what you do is simply you see uh, what volume did here did you see what volume did volume actually uh, went and surpassed uh this price of 22.13512 and went on continue being bullish now we are getting it at a discount and now it's coming to test uh it tested actually uh, uh previous consolidation prices and smart people know they don't trade during consolidations you just wait for the market to price itself then continue even higher or lower depending on the consolidation and how it looks like so that is it so uh for myself uh you might be wondering why uh, haven't you drawn trend lines why haven't you uh done this and that it's because if i have to draw a trend line uh for from this right <clears throat> if i have to draw a trend line from this uh you will see this will be a two steep of a trend line and you know too steep of a trend line uh, is not an ideal trend line a, a, an ideal trend line should i'm not going to be talking about angles but something like that if you can see something like that that's an ideal trend line once you start narrowing it down to maybe angles like that then that you, that's when you start losing it so but uh let's say for example i drew a trend line there you see it touched three points but uh when you get to this other side you know it's 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 beating so it's forced so you can see why so a good trend line has is okay you have to make point of contact from one point to the next point from one point to the next point onwards and it must uh, touch three times okay why 
uh yeah three times and this is this is uh from now here you know you must come and touch you must okay let me let me zoom in for you three times the charm so you can see it has only tested once so that's why i didn't draw a trend line here once you get used to it you'll see you'll start to see where trend lines apply and where trend line can't apply in this but this is the kind of trend line i was telling you about where it will be too forced yes you want to touch three points at three points from point one two and another one so that you can affirm your trend line is okay but in the long term you see even if i try to force it it's not just it's not working even if you blame it on the you see trend line you see it only touched two points so uh, once you get an eye for it you will, you will know where these things apply and where things these things don't so yeah so that's how i analyze my chart then from then then from there i move into a daily chart i look whether there is there are good positions to take uh like now currently i can't say it's a good time to trade the us dollar mexican peso because of all this noise that is happening in between here so yeah I don't think it's a very nice time to trade this, but unless I get fundamental news that which comes later, uh, if, unless I hear the the dollar is 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 is, is losing, the gaining, you know, such things, so that's when I can only and when I believe there is enough volume to move the market on either upside or the downside. So apart from that, I don't think there is much more. So uh, try this on your on your uh, on your what's on your charts whichever pick any pair uh do the do what i've shown you pick the lowest pick the most lowest point and the highest point it's first resistance or first support then the other place where the uh, it broke out from its first resistance or support where the market went actually and it kafika pahali then it stopped now it started consolidating because of being priced too high or too low depending then uh, the high, uh, then you continue like that now from then on is when you start uh, if you can if the trend lines can be drawn and a good trend line let me tell you is from let's say an initial point like this it must touch the candlesticks to uh, three points and make sure your three points uh, and make sure your points do not are not forced like this currently is a forced trend line because you can see it is already interfering with other candles so you go to this other side candles like this and make sure you stretch it to the longest part so as you can already see my trend line is touching uh, it's touching the uh, one candlestick over here and make sure it is somewhere uh, the it can you cannot do a, draw a trend line from let's say inside here because it must not touch can it must not touch interfere with candlestick is be pointed it should be on an area like this outside where there is no interference like the ipt katikati a candle so from one point to the second point so you wait for the third point to to be to be in this gap as you can see there is a lot of trading up in between in between here but don't forget there is a consolidation inside here so yeah uh that's how you draw a trend line so if, if price ever comes around this place and you, as you can see it's close to one of the resistance support support lines here so that is when you'll know whether it, it is a triangle a descending triangle an ascending triangle which i will talk uh, about in later videos but this is my first technical uh crash course uh that i'm going to be giving you so that you can understand technicals a little bit better yeah so thank you very much and keep it deluxe i uh, hope you enjoyed you're the best